What's up guys? Okay, I'm gonna go through this rifle cover real quick, um, start to finish what's included as well as how to attach it to the pack. So when you get it, you get the box. Um, every cover is going to have a buttstock cover on the back of it. Attach that. It's gonna have your crown cap. So um, basically, when you unravel it, it's gonna look like this. This is got a spot for any uh, shells you wanna throw in there. Um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Now, like I said, it comes with all three parts, but if I'm being honest, I never run that buttstock. Um, hunt the backcountry too much. I want every ounce I can I can save. I go ahead and take the buttstock pad off. I also remove these clips here. They come right off so there's no noise. And if I am going to attach this cover, what I tend to do, I like to run it on the side. I run this stone glacier pack and so got the little side pocket here I slip it on the side I always run a spotter on the other the opposite side of my pack so it weights it it just balances it out really well And easy that's how I run it now you can also if you have a different pack or whatever or you're a guy that wants to run it to the back of your pack real easy again um, it also comes with buckles in this pocket here you're gonna have two clips you can either attach them, use them, don't use them. What those look like is what I do is I attach them right here. Real easy to get on, on your compression straps, your lid straps on the back. Now you can run the entire setup here and use this for the buttstock to slip into. Or you can also purchase separately this sumo belt. It's just an easy, really light, one and a half ounce sumo belt. And what that allows you to do is attach it to the compression strap. Comes off really easy. Slip. The butt of the gun in there. Run the upper strap. And that's it. And you can adjust the height of this. I could pull this up higher. I like to run it flush with the bottom of the pack. Um, I'm always taking this pack, you know, off, putting it back on, and I just don't like scraping this, the bottom of my uh, buttstock there. So I kind of run it flush. There's a lot of room for adjustment here to pull it up. This thing's really light, um, keeps it really snug and secure. Again, you can also run it, use this in replacement of, and have that there if you like, but this is gonna be, I think six ounces, five, six ounces. This is one and a half. I don't need a spot for my bullets. So um, you can run it either way. So if you weren't gonna run the Simo belt and you just wanted to run it as is, you can use the buttstock pad here. Simple, quick attach to your uh, um, straps that are included right to the buckle on the stone pack. There's a little buckle there that you can attach it right to. Super easy. Um, it's solid. It's on there. And I've got it flush again. I know a lot of guys want to keep their barrel down a little bit lower. You can drop it if you want to. Um, I kind of go the other way. I want to keep it flush with the bottom of the pack. And that's it.